Discover 20 Dog Breed Nicknames Dogs have always stolen our hearts, and it's therefore not surprising giving them cute nicknames, on top of their regular call names. Some colorful nicknames though were specifically crafted with certain dog breeds in mind. Today, let's discover 20 dog breed nicknames and how dogs got them. 1. The American Gentleman. The Boston Terrier is American almost as much as Boston Cream Pie. Originally bred in England, but stabilized in Boston, this breed was accepted by the American Kennel Club in 1893, granting it the title as first U.S. dog breed to be recognized. The American Gentleman nickname therefore derives from this breed's history in the USA, along with this breed's formal markings, and reputation for being a gentle dog, with a happy-go-lucky personality. 2. The Apollo of Dogs. The Great Dane has been nicknamed the Apollo of Dogs. Apollo was a powerful Greek deity that has been recognized as the god of archery, music and dance, truth and prophecy, healing and diseases, the sun and light, poetry, and more. Just like Apollo, Great Danes are known for boasting a strong, noble character, and we certainly can't deny this breed's stately grace and elegance. 3. The Bark Lion Sentinel Dog. The Lhasa Apsos were called, Abso Sang Kai, which in Tibet means Bark Lion Sentinel Dog. This nickname derives from these dogs' history of guarding Tibetan temples and monasteries, and barking to alert the humans of any potential intruders, while the large mastiffs guarded outside. Lhasa Apso are a very ancient breed that has known to exist at least since the year 800 AD. They lived for many centuries in isolation along with Tibetan Buddhists along the Himalayan mountains. They therefore have a rich history of spiritual significance in Tibet, and have been associated with the Dalai Lama. 4. The Beauty, Brains and Bird Sense. This nickname represents the Gordon Setter. Indeed, the Beauty, Brains and Bird Sense, has been the old motto of the Gordon Setter Club of America for a long time. The Beauty refers to this breed's glistening black coat with tan markings, making it a very handsome dog. The Brains refers to this breed's high intelligence. Bird Sense refers to this breed's ability to hunt down birds. 5. The Butterfly Dog. The Papillon dog breed deserves the title as the Butterfly Dog. This nickname is inspired by this breed's pretty large ears which resemble the outspread wings of butterflies. Indeed, the word, Papillon, means butterfly in French. 6. The Cadillac of Bird Dogs. The pointer has long been nicknamed the Cadillac of Bird Dogs. This is due to the fact these dogs grew tremendously in popularity with the use of guns. These dogs were prized for their speed and stamina to go all day in the hunting field, holding their position as birds rose into the sky, and the guns went off. 7. The Carriage Dog The Dalmatian is referred to as the Carriage Dog because of its history. Also known as the English Coach Dog, Dalmatians back in time were often allowed to run besides horse-drawn carriages. Their role was a protective one, considering that horse-drawn carriages were often used for the wealthy. Afterward, they were used for guarding horse-drawn fire trucks, which explains why they're considered the best fire department mascots, gaining them the new nickname as the Firehouse Dog. 8. The Chrysanthemum Faced Dog. This peculiar name is used to depict sheet suits. It derives from the fact that, in this breed, the hair on the face seems to grow in every direction. You might not notice this in the well-groomed specimens in the show ring, but more in dogs who are clipped short. As the hair starts growing, you'll see hairs sticking up from the nose and in front of the eyes, just like a chrysanthemum with petals growing in all directions. 9. The Dutch Barge Dog. The Kishan earns the title as the Dutch Barge Dog. Originating in Holland, these dogs were granted this nickname because they were frequently seen on barges traveling through the many canals and rivers of the Netherlands. Their main job was working as watchdogs on docks where barges or other types of boats were docked. Due to their lovely bright and cheerful personalities, they were often also nicknamed the Smiling Dutchman. 10. The Gamekeeper's Guard Dog. As one may imagine, a gamekeeper had to pay a lot of attention to his surroundings, watching for poachers invading extensive farmland, woodland, and moorland, but no worries, here comes the Bull Mastiff. Bull Mastiffs indeed were purposely bred by 19th century gamekeepers to help them guard large English estates. Did you know? While many bull mastiffs today come in a fawn coat, in the old days when poachers abounded, the brindle coat was preferred as it worked best for camouflage in the forest at night. 11. The Grey Ghost. Also known as the Silver Ghost, the Weimaraner has obtained this nickname from its overall appearance. 
Firstly, Weimaraners indeed, are blessed with a grey coat which reminds people of ghosts. And then you have those spooky looking eyes. Weimaraners indeed are known for having eyes in the shades of light amber, grey or blue-grey. Finally, another feature that makes these dogs even spookier, is the fact that, when their pupils dilate, such as when excited, the eyes may appear almost black, as described in the AKC breed standard. 12. The Gargoyle of the Estate. This nickname refers to the Neapolitan Mastiff. A gargoyle is simply a feature of Gothic architecture featuring creatures carved out of stone. Neo-mastiffs are known for their fierce, imposing looks and gargoyle-like head. These looks made them the perfect guardians acting as a deterrent to home intrusion. 13. The Heart of a Lion. The Bedlington Terrier earns this nickname courtesy of its past history as a fearless and fierce hunter and killer of rats. They are basically lions dressed up in a lamb's clothing, considering their close resemblance to a sweet, innocent lamb. This breed's unique appearance along with its fearless demeanor have owed them the description of dogs with the head of a lamb and the heart of a lion. 14. The Iron Fist in a Velvet Glove. This nickname was earned by the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. These exuberant Irish farm dogs are friendly and happy, but retain that typical, stubborn, trait just to remind that they are terriers at heart. According to the American Kennel Club, these dogs are blessed with a hard-muscled body, covered with a soft coat the color of ripened wheat. Their hard muscles and soft coat therefore have earned them the nickname of Iron Fist in a Velvet Glove. 15. The Jumping Up and Down Dog. The Jumping Up and Down Dog is the Basenji. Most people may know these dogs by other nicknames, such as the Barkless Dog, or the Soundless Dog, due to the fact that they don't typically bark, but emit yodel-like sounds, but this nickname derives from this breed's distinctive behavior. Not many know that the Basenji's African name is Mbwe Makube Mbwe Wamwichu, now try to pronounce that, meaning the jumping up and down dog. Of course, the next question is why are they called this way? Turns out, this ancient breed originating from the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa, was selectively bred for hunting and flushing animals into nets for their hunters. Their nickname therefore derives from this dog's ability to leap high over the many tall grasses of his native land, so to take a quick peek around, checking for prey while airborne. 16. The King of Terriers. The Airedale Terrier is known as the King of Terriers. Terriers come in many different sizes, but the Airedale wins top spot as the largest of the terrier breeds, with males measuring 23 inches at the shoulder. 17. The Little Captain. This is the nickname for the Skipperkey. This nickname derives from the fact that these little black dogs were used for guarding the boats sailing the canals between Brussels and Antwerp. These dogs are also nicknamed Black Devils or Tasmanian Black Devils, due to their mischievous, lively and curious nature. 18. The Monkey-Like Terrier. Affenpinscher in German means monkey-like terrier. Also known as the Diabloten Mustahu in France, which means the little devil with a mustache, this wiry-haired dog was selectively bred for ridding kitchens, granaries and stables free of rodents. This nickname was crafted in reference to this dog's monkey-like, facial expression. Star Wars fans, on the other hand, argue that these dogs look more like little Ewoks. 19. The Multum in Parva. This Latin phrase simply means, a lot in a little, and refers to the lovely pug. These dogs indeed are often considered big dogs in small packages. Pugs are known for being small, compact and muscular dogs, brimming with personality. They're smart, curious and mischievous, and many pug owners think they make the perfect house dog. 20. The Smiling Dog. This nickname refers to the Samoyed's upturned mouth corners which so closely resemble a smile. Interestingly, this trait was selectively bred for, so to keep these dogs from drooling. While most dogs drool without any problems, things can get more complicated in areas with a cold climate since any doggy drool would quickly turn into icicles. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.